So here today we have an eSports centric gaming keyboard by Thank You Zawi and this is the Celeritas 2. Okay, so let's do the unboxing here. Yes, quick unboxing. Uh, it's a keyboard which they say driverless, so you can just go to a tournament, plug in your keyboard and then it works. Surprisingly, their packing material is really nice and you have a cutout here where they place the PS2 USB converter, so don't miss that out if you're using PS2. And then inside the box, you also have a user manual, which I doubt you, you, you even need this, so we just put that aside for now. And then you come with it, comes with this uh, warranty card, it's literally just a card. And then you also have a case badge with a 3M sticker behind if you want to show off that you have a Zawi product. There you have it. So we'll put that all aside for now. So, first off, you also get this dust cover. Very important. It's very important because, uh, well, it prevents dust from entering your keyboard as as you leave it naked like this. Yeah, when you sleep, just cover it and then you don't have to clean that often. Simple and yes, it's made exactly for the Celeritas too. So, yeah, let's put that aside for now. So, looking at the keyboard here, you can see this is a full-size keyboard. And Zawi actually took a few interesting design choices. It's because if okay, if any of you right actually owns um, a Steel Series Six G V two before, this is the exact same layout because they instead of you know last time when they have this seven G, just to mention what's going on, last time they used to have a lot smaller backspace for. Steel Series 7G. So actually, a lot of people complain about having a very small backspace is bad, not good for typing. So in the upcoming revision, they actually um, give you back the no space bar. But <laughs> the shortcoming is that they shorten out the right shift key here, mm -hmm. and then yeah, you can see the layout here is. Uh Quite typical in some aftermarket membrane keyboards back in the years. Yes. Yeah. And then one more interesting choice is that you don't even have a kickstand right here, one angle for everything, but uh, they do include a built in wrist rest. So, okay, yeah. so that's one thing I want to point out actually because Zawi has specially mentioned that they are working together with the pro gamers, mm -hmm. esports players, right? Very good esports players in CS especially. So, I would say that the angle you see here right, is actually optimized for those players so they, they feel a lot more com comfortable playing with this angle instead of having you know, those adjustable feet. One more thing in particular is the entire casing for this keyboard is UV coated. Yes. So, grease magnet I would say. <laughs> yes, grease magnet if you sweat. Uh, or maybe you just touch your own face, you have some oil. If you touch on the keyboard, it oh, stays there. Yes, you can see it very clearly. Yes. Wash your hands before you use this keyboard. Yes, wash your hands after you touch your face. Wash your hands after you just touch anything oily. Even the keycaps are same. Mm -hmm. Same UV coated. It's ABS. Yes, ABS. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. You, speaking of the keycaps, it does have uh, red LEDs. So, only one color though, but uh, you can adjust by pressing Fn, F7, and F8 to adjust the brightness. And then you even have multimedia keys uh, from F1 until F6. Play, pause, mute, volume controls, and your next and previous track. And then from F9 to F12, you have your... Well, it's actually the, <laughs> the repeat rate for your it's input. Repeat rate. So, not many people need this, I would say, because... <laughs> It doesn't actually increase the responsiveness of the keyboard, yeah. but it's more like... Okay, you can see from here, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. There's X1, 2, 4 and 8. So when you go from 1 to 8, it actually increases that input rate. Let's say if you press A for one time under the what 1x, yes, it can. only registers once. But if you're on 8, it actually registers a lot more. So, yeah. so be careful with like that. Like a frequency multiplier? It's the repeat rate. This feature has been around on the first Celeritas. 
Mm-hmm. Back in the days, if you guys noticed, Zawi is actually existing back then. There's something interesting about the switch that they use right here. The Celeritas 2, they chose the Flatec optical switch. So a brief mention about the technology right here. The Flatec optical switch is actually uh, having a prism on the stem. So when you press on the stem, it will bounce the light into the sensor. So if you press deeper, the intensity on the sensor will go higher and thus you get the analog inputs. But uh, Zawi disabled the analog input reasons for reasons because optical switch does work differently but converting it back to binary means you do have a lot of flexibility like uh, controlling the actuation see how much intensity so uh, it's like certain intensity detect is as on so you can register that button is pressed so this is something that uh, it's controlled by the firmware so it depends on how you code your firmware uh, depending on how much it like intensity, you want it to detect as the key is pressed. So there are flexibility when it comes to optical switches, but not for not on this. Yeah, not not on this because again, firmware is locked. Uh, optical switches are kind of delicate. So strict QC, as assured by Zawi, I did ask them what they do about the manufacturing tolerances. They said all the switches when they put in, it will go through a very strict QC. So your accuracy and your user experience is ensured. They actually mention about the actuation force. So, because of the strict QC, right? They they really can assure that you'll experience the same actuation force across the keyboards on all the switches here. Oh, so it's consistent per keyboard. Yes. So this is this is something actually good that yeah. you, that Zawi does because they are really focusing on the eSport players. Yes, consistency is crucial across the whole keyboard and. Perhaps they do something sort of like a factory calibration to ensure consistency. Well, they didn't have any sort of uh, certificate for factory calibration, but it's safe to say that during our user experience with the Celeritas 2, it's actually very nice. That's all I can say. Very nice. Uh, and I do type on it a lot. Spring is a bit hard because you need the prism to bounce back up as soon as you lift your fingers. And perhaps this is something like how many grams? It's actually 55. Back in the days, yes, back in the days, a lot of um, FPS players they actually, you know, they prefer 60 G because of the bounce back time. Mm -hmm. Because 60 G springs is a lot stiffer. Yes, 60 so G. It bounces back a lot faster compared to other linear switches like the Reds. So Reds is like 45. Yes. So the bounce back it's slightly slower, but. Most normal user can't actually feel that. Wait, 60G equivalent for Cherry MX is black? Yes. Okay. But this is 55. 55 so is It's between. equivalent to um okay, there are a few switches in the market that has 55. Razor yellow, um cherry nature white. Okay. Yes. And this and some Zilia switches. Okay, examples of keyboards with 55? Well, Razer of course, uh -huh. and some from Cherries, but it's not available in Malaysia. Oh, too bad. This Cherry Nature White is quite rare in Malaysia nowadays. Mm -hmm. It's still new, but it's rare because not many people use it. As for now, perhaps maybe you are watching this video sometime in the future and then perhaps you can find some of those keyboards with that switch. And uh, overall, maintaining this keyboard in terms of aesthetics, is uh, kind of tough because of all the sweaty problems. <laughs> the grease mark. Yes. You call it the grease mark. Because for me personally, when I type on it, uh, I rest my left wrist on here, like a uh, you know, e sports gamer. That's how I type actually, WASD. Uh, I can see a lot of mark around this area, so. Mm. <laughs> well, it's still visible at some point. Yeah, you, you can see that there are actually color difference right here. So, okay, here's a tip. If you really want to get rid of this thing, right, other than using your usual tissue, you can actually go for those oil control foam. You know, yeah. You know, you know when, you, when you have those uh, oily nose and then you take a... Shiny face. Shiny, <laughs> yes, shiny face and then you take a... What, what kind of film is that? It just absorbs oil, right? It's a, it's a thin film that absorbs oil. Uh-huh. That's it. Yes, girls like it. Okay. And keyboard, this keyboard likes it as well. Ah, so this keyboard is a girl? 
just take that film, wipe it on all the grease marks and can it actually eliminate them or just minimize it? It minimize it, I would say. It, okay. It won't <laughs> it won't remove everything. Uh presumably it can absorb to the Quite point where you can't really see it that much. Uh okay, good enough. Typing experience wise, uh, again 55 grams is a bit tough for me personally. I'm using Cherry MX Rate with Luke Keys. Again, typing experience because of this shorter right shift key. I'm not sure what is your typing preference for me. When I type, I do use my right shift key a lot. So, personal preference again. Yes. Uh, after market key caps, you will encounter some sort of issue in finding that, but you can still find it. Okay, it's because of the layout here. Mm. If you need a standard bottom row, no issues, it's standard bottom rows. It's just that you have these big enter keys. But no fear, because you can get this from Taobao. Taobao. Let me just show you the red LED for a while. And there oh, you have okay. it. Oh, one more thing to mention is that you don't have any indicator LEDs. The LEDs that indicate num lock, uh, caps lock, and uh, uh, caps lock, and scroll lock is actually on the LED itself. So it changes color when it's enabled. Let's say if you enable caps lock, it turns white. It changes white. Yes. Scroll lock and num lock. Very it's elegant just... design, but this is a bit glaring. Right, if you stare at your desk, uh, well, the... it's, it's still better than Steel Series blinding white. <laughs> yes, this one is just well. I do find it a bit distracting at some times, but uh, again, you can just press it to disable it. So there you have it. As for the price of the Celeritas 2, it's kind of pricey. Yes. Uh, 549 ringgits on Lazada and um, expensive, I would say. But it does serve its purpose. Yes, it's a very niche targeted market and uh, professional gamers, you do have to look at this keyboard. Reliability, consistency, and strict QC, Zawi assured us of that. Oh, and one more. Less distraction. Oh yes. Again, the price of this keyboard is 549 ringgit over at Lazada, official BenQ store. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we did talk about some uh, Lazada scam before, so you can check that out too. It's just to be cautioned, a side note for you guys. But uh, always buy from official stores yes. and yeah, wait for discount codes. You can apply it. You'll make things cheaper and more affordable. Yes, and definitely trustworthy. So yes. So that's all for the Celeritas 2. Thanks for watching. Sub Do subscribe to the Martin. channel. Yes. Subscribe to our channel, like our Facebook page. Check out the review for this keyboard and we'll see you next time. Thank you.